A recent study concluded that the consensus on climate change is real. <laughs> I mean, you just got to stop there. Let me say the consensus is real. We found from Susan Hack just today there's a name for when you do that because what well, you're trying to infer that the climate change is, is also real, right? It's trying to go on for the ride. As stories like this usually do, it provokes a lot of outrage commentary. Well, as well it should. One of our Facebook commentators, however, responded with a perfectly legitimate question, and how does consensus fit into the scientific method? And he said, you'd be shocked to know that it does, that that's the aim of the whole thing. And this is, well, let's go to our, our silly solar system. He says, science is just like a solar system, and the tug and the pull and the goal is always to get consensus. And he says, if you want more information, you go to Thomas Kuhn. In Thomas Kuhn's book, The Structure of Scientific Revolutions, is the most cited book in all of academic literature. It's, 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 it's impact would be hard to overestimate. Now this good gentleman, this Berezo guy, um, he's, he's kind of a science ombudsman, a science journalism. And his job is to help people get, get around, get past, see through shitty science with no sense of, at all that he's a wellspring of it. <laughs> it's the embodiment of it. it this is, this, it's exactly perfectly wrong. This is part of the exploration. I would like to explore broken science to the point where guys like this weren't around anymore. And I'm sure he's a nice enough fellow. Maybe we'll invite him to one of these and he can explain the solar system thing.